I think it's, I mean, honestly, I think it's a, a, a tragedy that we have um, someone who wants to be president who has consistently, over the course of his career, attempted to use race to divide the American people. You know, I do believe that the vast majority of us know that we have so much more in common than what separates us, and we don't want this kind of approach that is just constantly trying to divide us, and especially by race. And let's remember how Donald Trump started. He was a, 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 a land, he owned land, he owned buildings, and he, he was investigated because he refused to rent property to black families. Let's remember, this is the same individual who took out a full-page ad in the New York Times calling for the execution of five young black and Latino boys who were innocent, the Central Park Five, took out a full-page ad calling for their execution. This is the same individual who spread birther lies about the first black president of the United States. And I think the American people want better than that, want better than this, want someone who understands, as I do, I travel our country. We see in each other a friend. We see in each other a neighbor. We don't want a leader who is constantly trying to have Americans point their fingers at each other. I meet with people all the time who tell me, can we please just have discourse about how we're going to invest in the aspirations and the ambitions and the dreams of the American people? Knowing that regardless of people's color or the language their grandmother speaks, we all have the same dreams and aspirations and want a president who invests in those, not in hate and division.